Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Ahmed, what are you doing? I'm just heading up to the bus stop. I have to get to my friend's house. Which friend? Oh, you don't know him. So I'm not even invited. Oh yeah, I saw the Instagram post. You had like five boys at your house. Where's my invite? Oh, I didn't want to invite too many people over. Oh yeah, what? So invite everyone but me, yeah? Seriously, bro? Next time I'm going to invite everyone but you. Yeah, relax, man. Nah, bro, you're a dog. Remember that time at the supermarket you needed money? I paid like 20 bucks. Oh, okay, thanks. If you're going to start telling me about it, don't do it in the first place. Bro, you're just making excuses because you didn't invite me to your house, yeah? How about also the time at the restaurant you were shouting out your friend? You were going to get embarrassed because you didn't have enough money. I paid like 50 bucks that time. I paid it all off. What do you want me to do now? Look, you don't have to give it to me. I'm not asking, but like, I, I need like about five bucks or something, yeah? I, I need to do something. Can you give me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but wallah. I need it. I need the money on the way back for the bus. I have to get back home. The bus. Oh, sorry, sorry, here. I saw what, man. If I was in a better situation, I could have gave you a hundred bucks. I'm not a true friend, man, but after all I've done for you, yeah, I you couldn't even invite me to your house. And now you get it. One of the issues that many people fall into, what is known in Islam as Al-Man. Al-Mannan is the individual who does something good for someone such as giving him sadaqa or helping him out in any way. For example, Musti helps out Ahmed in a certain situation and time passes. One day, Musti falls into a hard situation and asks Ahmed to help out. For any reason, Ahmed could not help out and Musti begins to brag about all what he has done for Ahmed. That is called man and it is from the major sins. There are three people who Allah will not look at or speak to them on the Day of Judgment. They will have a painful punishment and one of them is Al-Mannan. The one who reminds others of favors he has done for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 264. All you who have believed, do not invalidate your charities with reminders of injury. So when you remind others of favors, you lose the reward. And don't expect anything back. If you, for example, give someone a gift, don't think, oh, if I give him a gift, then he'll buy me a gift too. I mean, it would be nice if he does get you something back, but just don't expect anything back. Some people will think that if they help somebody, it means that they are superior to them. Give the gift because you care about that person and so Allah can reward you. Not to get something in return or to show off.